Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only gonna be eating the most expensive food from fast food restaurants. I asked everybody if they would want me to do this video in all of my previous fast food videos and everyone said yes. And I'm also gonna do only eating at the cheapest things from the drive-thrus or from takeaways. I didn't say drive-thrus because I am gonna do two drive-thrus but I'm gonna do two places which don't have a drive-thru just to switch it up a bit because in all of my videos recently, I've been doing the exact same drive-thrus. Like it's all been Greg's, it's all been Burger King, which I love, but I also wanna switch it up a little bit. I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please smash a huge thumbs up. And other than that, let's get started. I've actually just been around at the first drive through and the first one I'm doing is at KFC. So when I say I'm trying the most expensive item on the menu, I'm not going to try the most expensive item that is meant for like four people because I've got the KFC menu up here and obviously they do like the big bucket meals, but they are meant for like four people. And I just think that would be very, very silly of me to order that meal only for myself. Like I don't want to waste food. I'm going to do the most expensive item on the menu that is meant for like an individual person, if that makes sense. Because obviously on here, you've got like the family feast which is $24.99 you've got the wicked variety bucket which is $27.99 and the most expensive one is at the party bucket and this is $39.99 and it serves six people but obviously like I said that would be pretty silly of me to get that when there's only meat in this video I have got this and this is the trilogy box meal and this was £11.49 so this is the most expensive like box meal that KFC do that is meant for one person you get a lot of food in here that is what I'm seeing I actually got a bottle of water as well which also came included in the price and basically I just want to test whether it tastes more like premium I guess compared to something cheaper on the menu I feel like I'm always like unless I'm doing one of these videos I'm always very safe in my options on what I order from drive throughs so I'm excited to try this so in here obviously you get the bottle of water like I said I've got some garlic mayo which I didn't actually ask for but they gave me I've got some beans which honestly I still to this day think they're barbecue beans but apparently they're not apparently they're just regular beans but really thought they were barbecue beans then we've got a little box of popcorn chicken we've got a bag here this has got one piece fill it in then we have got some fries which the new seasoning on the kfc fries is unbelievable and then we have got a burger let me just pop that box there there is too much food walking around this car right now here is the burger this is the tower zinger burger which apparently according to my last drive through video well one of them where i tried like the least ordered items apparently the zinger range and like the zinger burgers are the least ordered items on the menu which is quite interesting let's try the burger first because this chicken to me looks incredible the chicken that they use in the burgers is always a little bit different to what they use like in the fillet and like the one piece obviously because it can't have a bone in but you know what i mean even the batter just looks different Okay, the chicken is gorgeous, but it's so unbelievably dry. There's barely any sauce in this. Like, realistically, it just tastes like a plain chicken burger. Like, I'm not tasting any. Let me get a bit with a bit more sauce on, but I'm really not tasting any sauce. I'm getting more sauce through there. It's a little bit on the spicy side, hence the zinger, but it's really nice chicken. Like, I'm really enjoying the batter on the chicken. I think that's lovely. Do I think it should be necessarily the most expensive, like, burger on the menu? No, but it's not bad. I like it. Beans from KFC, maybe my favourite thing ever. I love beans. When I was food shopping the other day with Callum, he was buying beans. So I thought to myself, like, I haven't bought beans to have in the house, I think, since I first moved in, so three years ago. They do just taste barbecue-y. Like, I don't understand that they don't actually have barbecue in. Apparently, they don't. But me and my mum, I remember. We went on the drive through my mum was like, can I have barbecue beans? And they were like, just beans. And my mum was like, oh, no, the barbecue beans. And they were like, oh, no, they're just beans. Anyone who works at KFC, can you clear it up? Do they have barbecue in or not? The new seasoning on the KFC chips, even though it's not really that new anymore, it's been around for ages, has just leveled up KFC. I think it made KFC go from, like, tasting like a takeaway to tasting like restaurant food. Then I've also got my fillet piece here and my popcorn chicken to be honest you do get quite a bit in this but i still think and i don't know how much this is now actually because it's not actually on any uber eats menus but mmm see batter is so good there's a meal and it's called a mega box right and it used to be four pounds i don't think it is anymore because the snack box used to be two pounds the mega box used to be four pounds and in the mega box you get loads of chips you get a gravy one piece of original chicken two hot wings and a fillet and it used to be all that for four pounds which to me is like insane i think it might be five pound now or maybe six pounds but you can't ever get it on like uber eats or like delivery you can only get it around the drive through or in store which i think is a bit odd but like to me that is like an unbelievable deal where is this for like £11.50 like yeah it's good like I'm glad you get a drink and a side and stuff but I wouldn't necessarily say the burger is worth the £11.50 
everything else though mm. let me try the garlic buttermilk mayo because this could change my mind i never normally ask for sauces or dips when i go to kfc so i always just get the gravy <gasps> oh i thought that was gonna go, go everywhere we're not having any more spills in this car i can't believe that clip of me my mum and atticus in the car i posted it on tiktok yesterday and it's on 1.2 million views Mmm, all oh, that's good. But I love garlic mayo. Oh, that's amazing. That part is not big enough. I need a bigger pot of that. KFC is just too damn good. Okay, out of 10, can't get this water open. Normally I can do this really easy, but apparently not today. Oh, there we go. Out of 10, for meal number one, I am probably going to give it a seven. Do I think it's very expensive compared to some of the other meals on the menu? I think, like, at least compared to a mega box with a drink, you used to be able to get that for five pounds. And now this is like £11.50 for a pretty, I guess, standard sort of drive through meal, which is crazy. I love it. I think the taste's amazing, but I don't think the burger warrants the £11.50 price tag. Like, the fact that this is the most expensive item on the menu, I wouldn't say it necessarily tastes like it, but it tastes good. Next up, I'm fancying something a little bit more sweet. I feel like I need to get more sweet, so you know what that means. Krispy Kreme drive through the lighting today is honestly horrendous in every single spot that I park. I've tried three different spots in this car park and I cannot find any better than this. So I do apologize. I've just been to Krispy Kreme. I'm a big fan of Krispy Kreme. I think it's one of my favorite drive throughs in Manchester just because it's so cool that we have a Krispy Kreme drive through I got this Oreo milkshake. This was £6.75, which yes, is very pricey for a milkshake. And then that's not my donut. That's my donut. Of course, I could have got a box because that would be the most expensive like way of doing it. But I wanted to get the most expensive individual donut. So this was the chocolate dream cake donut and this was £3.25. So my entire order for a donut and a milkshake came to £10. Let's give the donut a try. I'm sure I probably have tried a chocolate dream cake donut before. I just don't really remember what it tastes like, but it's obviously going to be chocolate. Mm. honestly there's something about oh it's going everywhere the glaze that they put on Krispy Kreme donuts just tastes unbelievable I went to that was really good by the way I went to a Krispy Kreme party not that long ago in London and they had hot donuts and oh my god they literally melted on your tongue they were so good right let's give this a milkshake a try I have actually had one of these before and they're so good Mm, it's so cold. Mm. Oh my god, I've got brain freeze. It reminds me of a crushum, and I haven't had a crushum in years. I don't even know if they do them anymore. Like, I didn't just see them on the menu when I went, but like a Milky Bar crushum, Oreo crushum. This is exactly what it tastes like. I love a milkshake, though. I'm a sucker for a milkshake. It's so good. The thing is, it is really pricey for what I've got. Like, if I went to get a milkshake and a donut in Asda, it'd probably be like two quid, but it does taste incredible. I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten because, like I said, it is very pricey for what I've ordered, but it tastes so good. If I was going around the drive-thru, I'd just opt for an original glazed. Like, they are my go-to donut order every single time I order a donut. I just think you cannot beat an original glazed donut. So far, in total, KFC is still the most expensive for one individual meal. And now, instead of doing another drive-thru, I'm going to head home and I'm going to do Nando's. Haven't included Nando's in a video for, I think, years, probably. Like, actually years. So I thought it'd be really fun to do Nando's. And obviously, they don't do a Nando's drive-thru. I wish they did. But actually, imagine how busy it would be. Like, I don't even think they'd be able to do it because of how busy it would actually get. So let's go home and order Nando's. We are home and I have ordered my Nando's. You are honestly not going to believe how much this cost me. This is the most expensive meal for like one person. Again, on the menu. Because of the drink as well, it cost me £80. I don't know why I'm looking at the receipt because it's actually not on there. It is on my Deliveroo. Let me just get the exact number. What it was. Hang on. Order details. It was £80 and 47 for one meal. Granted, I know why, because the most expensive drink on the menu is very expensive and it is a bottle of wine. I was like, I can't just get the cheapest like drink because other than that, it was water, which is really weird because of how big the bottle was. So I was like, you know what? We're gonna go all out because we're filming and I've got a bottle of wine. This is, I don't really know my wine to be honest. It's Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc, Sauvignon Blanc. Sauvignon Blanc saying and i'm really excited jesus they've given me a lot of sauce look at all these sauces i'll be keeping these in the cupboard thank you for 80 pounds oh and i've also got my dessert in this bag as well and loads and loads and loads of napkins i did get dessert as well i wanted to go all out obviously because the other two drive throughs i haven't got that much food for the main meal i actually got the full platter so in the full platter you get two large sides and you get 
a full chicken. Like not a quarter, not a half, a full chicken. The full platter was 31 25 The wine was £33.25 and the dessert was £10. And then obviously like delivery add their like service and delivery fee and whatever on. <gasps> Look at the amount of chicken I've got. This is probably gonna be the best nando I've ever had and it best can be for £80. They did actually do, again, whoa, there's so many chips in a large chip. So they did actually do, again, a bigger meal than this, but it was meant for up to like four or six people. I can't remember now. And I was like, that's just stupid. I can't get that. But I mean, let's tuck in. Let's open the wine first. Never had a glass of wine in uh, one of my fast food videos before. So there's a first for everything. I'm only going to have a little glass because it is the middle of the day. Oh, it smells lovely though. Oh, it's a nice wine. Got a bit of a kick to it, but it is a nice wine. I can't believe that just cost me £30. The normal wine that I get is like £6, like a nice little Echo Fools bottle. And then I also got some tender stem broccoli with it as well. And then these are my desserts. These are new. They're called the Pastel de Nata. And you get four in here. So let's see what these are like. They're like pastry things. They smell really lovely, actually. They're like little pastry cakes. Wow, I'm having a full-blown feast today. I got medium on my chicken as well, and they've given me me loads of peri peri sauce so let's have some of the chips gosh guys this is a cheat day if i've ever seen one where do i start where do i actually start i'm so happy they've given me so many sauces and stuff because i can always cook with these but let me put some medium sauce just in the corner here so i can dip some of my chips into it you know what i actually really fancied a nando's as well i always forget how good a nando's actually is mm. oh that medium sauce has got a kick to it <sighs> My eyes are watering, oh my god. I don't remember it being that hot. What is happening? <laughs> oh my god, I have medium on my chicken. So why is it this hot when it's not on the chicken? I'm gonna have to get my water. Oh, I'm gonna have to bring the bottle of water back from KFC earlier. Medium is like the most I can go because that on the chips isn't even enjoyable. Let alone, I'm sorry, I'm not getting any hotter than that. Why would you want to get extra hot and just ruin your experience? Mm. This is the first time I'm trying the ten ten broccoli from Nando's and it's really good. Okay, chicken. I've got extra sauce on it. To be honest, I think I can actually have this chicken for dinner tonight because there's going to be so much left. I might as well ask everybody if they want chicken for dinner. Mm -mm -mm. Wow, that's a nice chicken. A bit dry, I need to put a bit more sauce on it, but that is lovely. The only thing, the thing is like, I understand the wine obviously bulked up the order in like the price wise, but I just personally don't think this is worth eight pounds. Like, I could go to an incredible restaurant and sit down and get a full blown restaurant meal for the price of what I've paid for this. Even if I didn't get the wine, like this food still would have been 40 quid and I could have gone again to a really nice restaurant for that. But at least I have got the full bottle of wine because that's gonna last me now for like pre-use and stuff for whenever I go out. So I can't really complain too much because at least I did get a full bottle of wine out of it. The broccoli is good, it's quite lemony, like lemony and herb. Can't get over how hot that sauce was on my chip. My nose is fully running. I feel very embarrassed. It's so good though. Well, my lunch is sorted. This is exactly where I'm going to be sat for the next like 45 minutes trying to eat all this chicken. Overall, this meal to me tastes the nicest. Don't think it's worth the price tag. I mean, you can't really compare this to Krispy Kreme, it's a different type of food, but Nando's and KFC, £11.25, £8. I get them on different calibers, but let's try the dessert because obviously I did get dessert as well. Mm, what is that? The cream in that is insane, but it's not cream. And it's also not custard. I don't really know what that is. That's insane. It's almost got a little bit of a cinnamon kick to it. Oh no. Okay, maybe this is, well, no, it's still not worth the money, but these are 10 pounds for this is good. I'm gonna have to put a little description on screen of what they are because they are 10 out of 10. Yeah, overall, I think I'm gonna rate it taste wise 10 out of 10. But even if I'm taking the wine off, this still costs me 40 pounds, which is like crazy. I mean, I obviously can just get a smaller portion of it, but we're trying the most expensive thing on the menu. So yeah, this is by far the most expensive, but I would say by far the tastiest so far. We've got one more left, and hopefully, it's not gonna cost me 80 pounds. <laughs> And the final one of the day is Domino's. This order was nowhere near as expensive as Nando's. This was £31.25 and I got the most expensive pizza and the most expensive dessert. This dessert and pizza I've never actually tried before so I'm really excited but this pizza I think was £23.95 which is insane for a pizza as well but it's actually plant-based whoa it looks so different the plant-based ones are the most expensive ones on the menu and this is the american hot it smells really good to be honest it smells just like a normal pizza i did also order the big dip but i have to see though it's rolled out somewhere oh here it is they've sent me the garlic and herb plant-based version so i kind of want to give that a go and then for dessert these were 6.49 i think and these are the twisted dough balls the cinnamon ones with chocolate on top 
they smell insane so i'm really excited to try those but let's give the pizza a go the only thing about this pizza is it all looks a bit like dry if that's even possible like it doesn't look like where is such the wrong word but do you know what i mean that smells exactly the same though to be honest it might taste the exact same but the fact this is all plant-based is crazy okay taste test wow that's a good pizza it tastes the exact same but like a little bit less flavor i'm gonna open this big garlic dip and we're gonna have some of this one because you just cannot be this dip i feel like this is gonna taste way more flavorful now i've got this on it Mm, that dip is missing like the kick to it. This is really good though. Super, super expensive. I've got no idea why it is this expensive, but this is so good. Once I start with Domino's pizza, I cannot stop. Do I think this is worth 24 pounds? No. The only reason I say that is because you can go to the shop or elsewhere and get a pizza for so much cheaper. But when I do the cheapest thing on the menu, they have the Domino's wraps finally at my local Domino's. So I'm gonna try that. And I really do think that's gonna be so much more worth the money. And they're 3 99 Like obviously, you don't get as much but i personally never finish a large pizza to myself anyway so like a domino's wrap is like perfect like 3.99 compared to 23.95 crazy it does taste unreal though american hot might be my new favorite oh and it has barbecue base i do not like to well it's not like i don't like tomato base but barbecue is so much better okay things are about to get messy here because these are covered in chocolate this is the most expensive dessert i personally was still up for the cookies even though i haven't tried these yet but domino's cookies are just elite they've gone way up in price as well but let's taste test Oh wow. Mmm. I love cinnamon. My mouth is going to be covered in chocolate. I can feel it all on my teeth. They are so nice. But do I think I can finish the portion? Absolutely not. Because they are so sickly and there's so much to them. However, they are good. They're not as good as the cookies though. Do I think this is the best thing on the menu? Even though it's the most expensive? Absolutely not. I feel like this video has been really good because I definitely now know. I mean, I kind of knew that anyway. But like the most expensive item doesn't always mean the best. And I actually think I personally am going to prefer the cheaper items. Because like... They're what I would usually go for and I just think they taste nicer. However though, I'm very much enjoying this plant-based pizza and I really want to do a, another video where I try like vegan and like plant-based and like gluten-free ranges from fast food places. So if you are plant-based, this is really, really good and I'm going to have another slice now before I end this video. Let's overall give them a little rating then. I would say obviously Nando's is the most expensive, then Domino's, then KFC, then Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme's kind of in a different caliber because it's donuts, but out of the three most expensive ones i would say the one i actually have enjoyed the most is probably this pizza but then i love the nanas but i just really don't think it was worth the 80 pounds like that is crazy that that's the most expensive thing on the menu for one person i hope you guys have enjoyed this video let me know other places that i could do for these videos because i might do the cheapest items from these same four places just so then we can compare them both obviously because i've done these four in this video but any other food challenges any other sort of like fast food things let me know because i'm loving bringing the fast food videos back i am now gonna sit and eat my pizza it feels a bit weird going from oh my gosh no i've got the sauce on my carpet feels a bit weird going from dessert back to pizza it feels very odd but thank you so much for watching i really hope you guys have enjoyed and i will see you very soon for a brand new video bye mm -mm -mm.